a three-man breakaway between Evgeny Plushenko, Evan Lysacek, and Daisuke Takahashi in the men's figure skating at the Olympics. No one expected it to be like that, but three guys have really f come away from the pack after the short program led by the defending champion Plushenko of Russia. Plushenko is trying to be the first guy to repeat as the gold medal since 1952 and also to keep a Russian streak going of winning the gold medal that dates back to 1994. So what we're seeing from Plushenko is a return from retirement and he's still at the same level he was when he won in Torino. Yet his lead is very small, about a half a point against Lysacek who is the world champion and he's also a two-time American champion. And Lysacek went late in the program where uh, Plushenko went early. Plushenko post posted a 90.85 and kind of said to the rest of the field, okay, let's see you match this. No one could, but Lysacek came very close. He's 0.55 behind, and then Takahashi is only 0.05 in back of Lysacek. It looks like the three of them will be on the medals podium, barring a disaster for any of them. Lysacek is an emotional skater, but he's not really emotional after he finishes. But tonight, it was entirely different. He was down on the ice. It looked like he was starting to cry and was uh, fighting back the tears. And then when he got to the kiss and cry zone and saw his marks, he did start to uh, tear up. Uh, Johnny Weir finished sixth, and it was a very nice program for him. He was hurt by a uh, two-footed uh, landing on a triple jump, the triple flip. Otherwise, it was very majestic. It was flowing. Uh, the second half of his program was very, very good, and he skated it nicely. And he said afterwards that to him it was gorgeous, that he hadn't skated like this in years and that sixth place uh, was uh, very nice for him. I, I think that he maybe deserved to be a little bit higher. Uh, the third American was Jeremy Abbott, the two-time defending U.S. champion, but he struggles in big international events. He has been only 11th in the last two world championships, and he fell to 15th tonight. He really had problems at the end of the uh, program. He was uh, the next to last guy to go, and that's not good for Abbott. He needs to usually go a little bit earlier. I think maybe the nerves got to him. He fell twice in his routine. It was really kind of a blah routine, uh, and 15th place is about where it deserved.